Um, and those proceeds will go to the players as far as transportation and hotel fees for them staying there, plus uh, their prize money. That's going to be a strong event. So go to AccuStats.com and check that out. Yeah, the Make It Happen is really a unique format where the player, the players get to be determined by the fans, and it's sort of like a, a symbiotic, uh, s uh, basically... They vote the player for their, yeah. play, their favorite player, mm -hmm. right? That they want to see. It's very cool. Very cool to see Pat doing some unique things he, for pool. Yeah, he's always been doing that. He's a true innovator. Absolutely. No doubt. Plus, running a game show in between that, and I'm sure the mods will bring you up to date on that. Pat's going to be kind of busy in the next couple of weeks. Uh, he's going down to Derby City Classic, and he will be streaming from there also. So make sure you keep up to date with uh, Mr. Fleming and crew at AccuStats.com. Karen Cora, very nice break, and has a clean shot of Well, this was a nice break from Thorsten, but unfortunately, we've got uh, no shot here on the one ball for Thorsten. Two tables down from us currently. We have the other one loss side match going on between Mike DeShane and Warren Campco.
in the previous round, Mike was defeated, or excuse me, Mike defeated Dennis Hatch, while Warren was sent over to the one last side by Shane Van Boning. Right, and Warren Kempko now leads that match. Oh, looks like Mike just made a nine ball, so that match is now tied at one. Karen Cole went over and gro grabbed a break cue, so I'm imagining she's going to go to the air here. You have to jump with your break cue or your playing cue. There is no short jump cues allowed in the tournament. Fouls the tool ball. Austin Holman going to play the one and the two in the same corner and work his way back down table for the three. He wants a little angle on the three to come one rail off the bottom short rail and back out for the five into the opposite corner after pocketing the three here. Such a nice time to relax and just watch good pool being played, you know? Absolutely. With this uh, crystal clear stream that's going on. And we will see Torsten take the lead most likely here. And go up 2-1. There you have it, two to one. Thorsten Holman over Karen Core. We are racing to nine. And folks, I can't urge you enough to uh, support the sponsors that sponsor uh, AZ Billiards and AccuStats and sponsor this stream, Wakasi Hybrid and Predator the tap league if you got a couple of seconds shoot them an email and let them know you appreciate what they're doing for the sport because without them we wouldn't be able to do this Okay, the wing ball flies right into the corner, and Thorsten Holman's going to wind up with a shot on the one. With the two ball lying against that rail, he's going to have to maneuver here, maybe come up short, draw right back one rail, and come back out for the two. Yeah, it looks like that's the best possible option here for position.
shock look. Well, instead, we've got a nice safety, although it's hard to tell from this angle what what she's got to work with here will be a relatively easy kick. It was a smart shot than, than taking the chance of missing the combination. Even it's, it's an easy kick, but it gives them an opportunity to get back to the table if Karen doesn't kick this in the side. Oh, she doesn't hit it at all. The cue ball falls into the side. Another ball in hand for Thorsten Holman. Thorsten Holman. Trying to practice that instead of using the Thorsten with the H. Thorsten. Hmm. Well, this is a little more angle than I'm than I'm sure you would prefer to have. Yes. But, but nevertheless, nevertheless, pretty easy. Nevertheless, pretty easy. Yeah. And he's going to come out great for the six in the side pocket. Yeah, either hold the cue ball or go one rail back out. He likes to go to one rail and winds up perfect. Natural angle will come back down for the nine, get a little closer to the nine for the win. Thorsten Holman now spreads that lead a little bit further. Leads in this match 3-1 to one over Karen Kaur. And just a quick update on the other table between Mike DeShane and Warren Kiemko. Mike DeShane now leading 2-1 to one and is at the table. the nine. Everything on the go, but nothing dropping. From our uh, point of view, we don't know if Karen has the outside of that one to make it. She's staring down the table now. If she does, she's in pretty good shape. The only issue would be the eight ball, which is a fairly easy combination to the nine. It looks like she can most likely see enough of the one ball. It's, like you said, it's hard to it's hard to tell. Well, she hit it too thick. So obviously, she had enough to cut it in. From where she left uh, left the cue ball there, it may be that she was just trying to play safe. Yes, I agree. But I think she had an opportunity to make the one and go three rails back for the mm -hmm. two in the bottom corner. Yeah, this... Hmm. Torsten Holman playing a really nice safe. Karen is just not getting any real opportunities to get her foot in the door quite yet. She's lining up like she has the edge. Just put it on the short rail or somewhere behind any one of those balls there. And she does that, but leaves 
tossed in a piece of the one. And he might be able to get behind the eight ball here and lock her up. Austin Holman looking like Tiger Woods there. Down on one knee, getting a real bird's eye view of this shot. Looks like he's trying to see if he can plant the cue ball behind the three. From yeah, he would love to do that, yeah. yeah if, uh, if he has... Well, it looks like he's changed his English here. He's going the other way now. Slow rolling it, trying to get it behind the eight, and he this did. This will be no good. The one ball this will be no good. went out a little too far. Karen will have a shot. Not the greatest of shots, but at least you can see the whole ball and play safe back behind the eight or anywhere in the back there. Behind the six, nine. And how Karen feels. Oh, try to stick the cue ball on the four and put the one on the short rail. She does that. Do you take a swipe at banking this one down to the six nine? Mm, I don't think so. What do you just play off the right side of it and try to get Karen into another safe position? Yeah, I think he'll try to uh, skim the right side of the one ball and drift the cue ball back to the opposite end rail. Trying to lock her back up. Well, but you can't kiss into that two ball. That was going to be costly. Well, both players are getting plenty of opportunities at the table here. But when they get, when they got there, it's just uh, the option of playing safe. That was a very nice stroke. Came back right back out f towards the center of the table here, and there should really be no no major problems from from here on out. He, she just has to uh, hold the cue ball here for position on the three. She'll have the four in the side pocket. Use the six ball to get position. Very nice. Break the six out so she doesn't have to play the six nine. And now she's on her feet and running. Answering Thorsten back. That now leads this match three to one. This is definitely a big game here for Karen to capitalize and not put herself down four to one. She's gonna elect just to play the long shot. She's gonna keep the cue ball on the left side of the table instead of trying to play pinpoint position between the eight seven here. She's just gonna try to keep the cue ball there. No need to do anything special. Because when you try to start, I mean, when you're trying to play pinpoint position, the chances and the odds that you're going to get caught up behind one of those balls. So shoot with the odds. Wow, it's a little too hard, I believe. But makeable. Well, she's still not, not in too bad of a spot here. Perfect angle to get back on top of the nine. Karen Core is going to take this game away from Thorsten. Hard habit to break. I say Thorsten so many times. And she's going to pull within one here.
And she does. We now have a score of 3-2 to two in favor of Torsten Holman. And to give you an update on the other match, Mike Deshane and Warren Kiemko. Warren Kiemko now leads Mike Deshane 3-2 to two on that table. So we have even scores on both tables. 3-2 to two and 3-2. to two. Well, following the end of these two matches, there will be only four players re remaining in the event. And yeah. I'm sure the next match we'll be seeing on the live stream will be the hot seat match. The two undefeated players we have are Shane Van Boning and Johnny Archer. Johnny Archer winning this event six times, looking for a seventh win. And Shane Van Boney winning this event also. Looking for another win. And we can't leave out Mike DeShane. It's still playing Warren Kempko, who won it the last Turning Stone, 19. Absolutely. This is a great event. Coming down to the wire, it's the nail biter and that. Sitting on the seat on the edge, watching every match going on. Uh, because now as it gets down to the wire, Instead of watching 16 matches, you can actually see both of them right there in front of you. Gets a little easier to keep updates. Karen's got to make sure she hides this one. Nicely done. I don't know. He might have a piece of that one. Maybe a little, just a little messe. And he could still bring the cue ball behind that wall of balls at at 8, 7, 3, and 4. Little Massé. Might even make this ball if it hits good enough. Uh, watch the pocket. Whoa. Seeing everything but that scratch. Looks like Karen just has a slight angle here on the two ball. She's going to stun the ball again, come off the left rail, right back up for the four ball. Looks like a practice routine, the way the ball can lined up like that. She came out a little bit far here. This is not, uh, not ideal. Again, she'll just play it over to the right side rail and come back out for the four. If you know the way, if you notice the way Karen gets down on the ball, uh, if you had never seen Karen core play before, she has that snooker stance. You know, for those of you mm -hmm. that are just learning the game, uh, pretty good stance too. I, I like the way uh, she lines that cue stick up, splitting her chin. Getting the perfect aim on the next ball, on the object ball. Watch that eight. You can feather that eight and go in the pocket. Oh, and that cue ball is hanging. She's in the pocket, but in the lip. <laughs> never dropped. I think she's pocket safe too. 
Yeah, it's it's hard to tell here how much. Well, she can go two uh, to three rails kicking this five. I think she is hooked. Yeah, it looks looks like she's pretty well inside that corner of the pocket. Quick update. Warren Kamko now leads that match four to two over Mike DeShane. Karen's gonna go two to three rails to kick at this five. She needs a roll here. Look at this. Look at this. And she got a roll. Nice kick. Thorsten Holman has a fairly easy kick. Kicking that five ball towards the right side pocket. Unless he has enough to cut it in, but I still don't think it's worth going for. I like playing the kick at the right speed and leaving the cue ball back here. Sending the five up table. He went for it. Never touched the well, ball let's on see the where table. This ends up. What a shot. Wow. What a shot by Torsten Holman. Roll right into place. Like there was a magnet <laughs> pulling it right <laughs> pulling it right in. And never touched any other ball on the table. Went four rails around the whole table and never touched the ball. Great shot. So we thought Karen played a good save, left enough out there for Torsten to cut that ball right in the pocket. And he's about to cut the nine ball into the opposite corner to go up in this match four to two, and he does. We are racing to nine here at the Turning Stone Classic 20. I'd like to take a quick second to thank everybody behind the scenes there. Jim Fredericks, Curly Q, Ziller, whoever else is in the chat, Martin, Bob, CMB, WSU does a whole lot of work behind the scenes, promoting it all over every social network. Steve Kerr right alongside with him and the rest of the crew out there. Just want to give a big shout out. We get together, we can really do this. Of course, Mr. Fleming and AccuStats and Easy Billiards. As, as the eight ball finds its way into the corner pocket, the one and the cue ball find its way into the opposite corner. Karen coming to the table with ball in hand. Allison, where are you off to after, after the Turning Stone? After the Turning Stone, I am going to be heading back to New York City. Any tournaments coming up? Well, uh, I don't have any uh, plan for the immediate future. I, I should I should be playing uh, in the most likely the Tri-State Tour in okay. the coming weeks. Since I've relocated back to New York, I'm uh, definitely going to be playing a lot more and trying to trying to get uh, get in as much pool as possible. Yes, yes. Well, you, you played when you were out in Wisconsin, too, quite a bit. I'm I one of your I stalkers. Did. Oh, okay. Everywhere you go, I'm right. <laughs> on Facebook following you. <laughs> Allison uh, working alongside Jerry Tarantola and crew with a New York City Grind. Make sure to check them out also. NYCGrind.com. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of uh, photos and upcoming videos from the event, both on NYC Grind and on our Facebook page, so be sure to look us up. And I want to thank everybody out there who uh, has been following our coverage so far. You're quite welcome. <laughs> 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 
you know, it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful thing that we have at our fingertips now with uh, social networking and everything that we have. It's so scary. It, it's Wha one button it's and I'm, amazing. I'm there. You know, years ago we we couldn't have imagined how greatly uh, the uh, the World Wide Web has uh, influenced and impact pools, but you know specifically, of course, uh, on on various levels. Yes, just by clicking the link and sharing and keeping up to date with everybody. As Karen sinks that nine ball, we now have a score of four to three in favor of Torsten Holman. Yeah, the social networking really helps. And uh, Bob and Steve Kerr, I'll tell you what, I know what they're doing because uh, they do it eight, nine, ten, twelve hours a day. <laughs> I uh, was talking to Mike Zuglin when I arrived here, and he said, hey, who is this guy, Bob CMBWSU? He says, he's all over the place. <laughs> I follow him, and he's got, you know, great information. I said, yep, that's, that's uh, Mr. Bob Enslow from Washington State. Yeah, every time I turn around, he's got something else posted yeah, coming yeah. up for, for streaming all over the world. You would think that he's a robot, but he's, <laughs> he's human, and he's, uh, he's got a great heart. He really does a Real lot. live. Okay, update on the Mike DeShane and Warren Kamko. Warren now leads that match 4-3 to three over Mike, and Mike's coming to the table to break. We've got some uh, parallel, parallel scoring going on in these two matches. And to the left of our view, we also have a uh, second chance tournament going on for the players who were eliminated earlier in the event. First time Mike Zuglin's ever done that, and it turned out nice. He's got plenty of players in the second chance. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Jennifer Beretta playing in the second chance. I know Brittany Bryant was also in the mix, and a whole host of other great players. What I mean by the first time Mike Zuglin doing this, I mean the first time he's doing it here at the Turning Stone. He does it on a regular basis now at the, the Josh Tour, That's right. on the Josh Tour, yeah. Okay, that rack is racked. Both players agree. Mike Zuglin's another one that does a lot for pool. I mean, through the years, I, I can't tell you how many vehicles he must have went through traveling up and down the East Coast. And he's... It shows now, you know. Uh, it showed before, but being here at the Turning Stone with this beautiful event room, um, there's a lot of hard work in between. It just didn't happen overnight. He's uh, brought this tournament up to par where it is by doing it locally. And uh, he, he has open arms for anybody that wants to play uh, on the tour. And you can check out Mike Zuglin's... Uh, website I believe it's the Josh Northeast Nine Ball Tour. Josh Nine Ball Tour dot com. Yes. Mm -hmm. Make sure to pay a visit over there also. And you can shoot Mike an email. He also has his telephone number up there and leave him a message if he doesn't pick up and let him know you appreciate it. He likes to hear that. Or uh, send an email to the Tony Stone Casino. Yeah, this uh, this event is just another great example of what uh, people within the pool industry are able to do and accomplish, and you know push push together some tremendous talent. We have to go further. You know, um, Europe. You know, it, 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 the game of billiards is is so much bigger over there. The sponsorship is larger, and there's got to be a way where we can rise to the top. You know, we help a lot of other sports out, and they're up there, and the pool should be right up there alongside it. I couldn't agree more. How do we get 
the mass media involved in this. I called them up. It was like, well, we don't want to hear from you. <laughs> you <know? laughs> All I want is a little ticker on the bottom of the screen that says upcoming events going to be live streamed. Call your local media. Well, the local media was here a couple of times through the years. And uh, I'm not saying it didn't help. It probably did. But I haven't noticed them in the last few tournaments. It's, it's just not as popular. I'd like to see uh, more people involved, younger people involved. You know. Mm -hmm. Oscar Dominguez, uh, I mean, not Oscar, Ernesto Dominguez once told me, he says, if we had this venue the way it is and take it and put it in California, he says you, he would have people waiting around the corner to get in with the stands all filled with uh, spectators. As Thorsten Holman puts another game on the board, now leads five to three. And uh, I said, "Well, I said, Ernesto, uh, what do you think the difference is? You know, why we don't have people waiting outside the casino to come up the escalator to get in here?" And he says, "The media." He says, "Out in California, he says they really get on board to help promote events like this." Well, that's the West Coast. How about the East Coast? <laughs> yeah, it really does take uh, an effort from all sides and the players included to get the word out and to promote in creative ways. And we have more and more outlets and opportunities to do it. So it's, it's just a matter of everyone working in the right direction. Right, not working just solo, promoting yourself, helping out the sport in general, getting everybody involved. Absolutely. <coughs> well, Thorsten Holman said here the break in game nine. Mike DeShane and Warren Kempko still at 4 3. Come up with a dry break. Karen coming to the table with a sh clear shot at the one. Not the easiest cut, but she uh, can see the whole ball here. Looks like Karen will be playing safe here and taking the two ball or the cue ball, two rails. And played it well, she did. Took away the left side rail, so Thorsten couldn't go that way, so he's going to have to either go one or two rails. Well, the one thing that happened happened here, interestingly enough, is that the one is lined up with the two ball. So if if he can kick this square, he's lined what? up for a dead combination. Okay, sit on the edge of the seat, everybody. If he does kick this, there's a chance this two ball might go in. But he looks like he's going to be kicking two rails. No, he's see. trying. Okay. Going behind the five ball, I believe. In front of it. <laughs> With heavy draw. And just curved that cue ball right into the corner pocket. Well, we, we will see the combination, I believe. I think that's a good call. <laughs> well, she can elect to play the one on the opposite <laughs> side. She could, well. <laughs> See, there you go. <laughs> Wasn't that obvious, was it? <laughs> no. But this is a safer shot here since she's uh, guaranteed to get the her chosen position for the two ball since yeah. she has it right there in the, the in funniest corner pocket. The so funniest things happen, right? <laughs> you played a small a combination. Smart choice, Karen. Yeah, she, she is smart. Well, she's not in the Hall of Fame for nothing, right, uh, Allison? She's earned the bones. Well, that's right. I had the pleasure of uh, being at her Hall of Fame induction ceremony this uh, this year, this past year at the U.S. Open. And I will tell you what, uh, as a player who grew up 
watching Karen on ESPN, follow, following her, there's nothing nothing better in my in my book than getting the chance to see her inducted into the Hall of Fame because oh that's nice, very nice. It's just uh, just tremendous. Yeah, there's a lot of people very that well follow her, follow her career. A lot of people. You know, all of a sudden she shows up out of nowhere and gets the nickname the Irish Invader, and <laughs> stands by it and. Snaps tournament after tournament off. Boy, she come on the map quick. Okay, I can't tell the space between this uh, six seven. She might have to take the seven with her. Just bump off it a little bit. That she did, but failed to pocket the six ball. Karen not looking happy with outcome here. Very good reason to. Took her eye off that shot, thinking about the position. doesn't do that very often. Thorsten Holman with an opportunity to get closer to the hill here. Every time you've got to interact that cue ball with another ball on the table, it just makes for one more possible margin of error and possible, uh, yeah. possible way to slip off track. Yep. And Torsten almost did that. Quick update. Mike DeShane and Warren Kemko now tied at four. And Torsten Holman about to go ahead in this lead. Six to three over Miss Karen Core. And does. Well, this was another big swing here. Missed opportunity by Karen. Not over. I never count Karen or out. Absolutely never. not. Like I said earlier, I believe one of these turning stones, she uh, actually defeated... Uh, Johnny Archer, something like nine to two. So I never count the route. You can do that to uh, any player in in a tournament in a race to nine. And if she uh, gets a gear, we're going to be in for some really great pull. I like when they come from behind and it gets closer. But Thorsten Holman's going to do everything in his power to prevent that. I want to give another quick shout out to another great supporter and promoter in pool who's tuned into the stream, Angel Levine. Oh, yes. Sweetie pie. Just noticed that she's tuned in, so I want to thank Angel for everything that she does. Thank you, Angel. And Diana Hoppy, and I'll tell you what, this, I think there's 5,000 friends I have on Facebook, and I'm a lot of them do share those links, you know, for the stream. And I like to say thank you to everybody out there. Well, 5-9 is looking pretty good to Torsten right now. Unless it goes by tonight, I don't think it does. 
It's hard to tell from here. He may have enough space to space to clear it, but I think it uh, this might just be a quick way. Well, it did oh, go by. There we go. The seven, on the other hand. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's going <laughs> to be the 7 9 combination. He's looking to see if it goes by it, though. But I think he's going to play the 7 9. He's a great straight pool player. There's no reason why he shouldn't uh, play the combo. Yeah, I think that's the, the only possible option here. There it is. Austin Holman crawling his way up towards the hill. Now leads this match seven to three. And a quick update. Mike DeShane and Warren Kiemko are now tied at five. Back and forth, back and forth over there with those two. In matching red colored shirts, I might add. <coughs> you know, the cream rises to the top in every tournament, so, you know, this back and forth seesaw is expected. Karen just getting a little unfortunate. What? Well, maybe she did get fortunate. Oh, boy. Dawson Holman goes into the drink. Karen comes to the table with ball in hand. She's got to start showing up. Like I said, we never count her out. Anybody that knows Karen probably agree. And Karen has a narrow window. Well, two possible uh, windows here to play for the two ball. Yeah, I don't know if she wants to get that straight on this. She might want to come right back. She went straight on it. Boy, Allison, you know what? You're blowing all your action here. <laughs> <laughs> well, she'll be able to play the three ball there up in the top left corner pocket. You can just come. She might elect to play some one pocket here and just play the two, three, and four right into the same pocket. No? Mm, well I think she'll just stop the cue ball there. She and whiz. How good do you really play? <laughs> 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 you know your players, though, right? I mean, through the years and playing, you played Karen before, I'm sure. I never have played Karen. No. Really? No, I, I really haven't. Uh, well, you play just like her from here. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't yet played Karen, but hoping hoping to eventually, someday. Uh, get that opportunity. I'm sure you will. Karen's back on circuit again, on tour playing. So I'm sure there'll be an opportunity coming up. She winds up perfect on this five ball, just to draw off it, go to the right rail, come back out for the six. Now on the six, she wants to be either kind of straight or have a good angle to get back on the eight. But Karen is going to be drawing back one rail to play eight in. Uh oh, well, she overdid this just a by a little. Here, but she's okay. She's all right. She's okay, yeah. A little more than she wanted, but she'll be fine. Done. Miss Karen Cor putting a bead on her side of the board now trails in this match seven to four and will be breaking.
Warren Kempko and Mike DeShane is still tied at five. They were having some trouble racking the balls over well, there. Well, I believe uh, Mike has actually gone up to lead 6-5. Really? Okay, that was quick. What did he do, sink a nine ball? He did. Uh, looks like he played an early combination on the nine. Okay, 6-5 to five now, Mike DeShane. And uh, looks like he's stepped out to take a break. As Karen accepts this rack by Thorsten. Deciding on where she wants to break from or thinking about where she broke from last time and switching up. Watch that nine ball crawling towards that corner pocket. We might see a short match with a one oh, nine here. Wow. Well. No, I thought I don't think he has it. Yeah, it looks like the six ball is pretty well blocking his view of the one. So it will be interesting here what to see what he decides to do. I'm not rolling out in any circumstance right now. I'm kicking at this one ball. I mean, can you afford to roll out well, and leave that one nine? What some people may uh, attempt to do here is push out and move that nine ball away from that combination lineup. But again, that that would be uh, risky if you it double would be kiss risky. it. It would it would be risky, and there's no guarantee that. He may not leave a Karen a shot at that one ball. You know what regardless. could happen here? Thorsten could kick at the long rail, hit the one ball on the right side, and possibly carry him into the nine. But he's electing to push out. Boy, oh boy. Karen's going to look at cutting this one into the nine. You have to. Okay, no gimme. If it was, she would have definitely made well, the nine. look at this. It's turned out to be a two-way. Yeah, two-way shot. Two-way shot. Put the cue ball back on that far end rail away from the one. But he can see a piece of the right side of the one ball. So I didn't like that push out, leaving a combination like that for the cheese. If I walked into a pool room and somebody was doing that and I was backing them, I'd say they would just throw me in the, the sink down a drain. <laughs> that was scary. What a chance. He took some chance yeah, that there. Was, that was interesting. Okay, Karen, it looks like she can go rail first if she can get between that 5-9. Does it wow, perfectly. great shot. It's hard to tell here. It looks like the two ball may pass by the five. Yeah, the problem is getting on that three. If she can't do much with the cue ball here, but roll. Oh, oh, playing safe. Playing Smart. safe instead. How's the speed, though? Oh, boy. Karen just made a face like she sucked on a lemon rind. Not happy with that. Does he have enough of the clearance to cut this back, cut this into the corner? Looks like it. He's back cutting his two ball. Well, 
Well, the plot thickens here as there is still no definite path. But we may we may see. Hmm. I think he's going to play to seven. Whether he plays to carom or plays to combination, I think we're going to see him attempt to play to seven ball. Negative. Played the safe. Rail to rail. How's the speed? Pretty sporty. some reason I just seen Karen glance up at the score maybe she didn't realize what she was thinking she didn't put her game up watch that cue ball all right this is gonna come out pretty nicely here very nice speed control is so critical on these shots because you, you can't afford to give your opponent a view. I think it's a race to the three ball. Whoever can make this three ball and get position on the four is gonna win this game. I don't think he's gonna like this very much. It looks like it might be Karen Core has an opportunity to pull within two. Once again, we have a tied score with Mike Desheen and Warren Kamko at six apiece. And having racking issues. And uh, Warren accepts it now. Karen has a nice layout here. Connect the dots. Easy now, Karen. You got a lot of room to play with there. <laughs> <laughs> now she has to stretch for the seven, <laughs> put the extension on. If she cannot reach this cue ball, she's going for the rake instead, the bridge. For those of you just learning pool, sometimes we call this the rake. Getting exciting over here, like sitting around a campfire with marshmallows <laughs> and chocolate and graham crackers. If only we had a little campfire here. It's a bit, it's a bit chilly in the, <laughs> in the in the arena. Well done. Rolled a little bit farther than she would have liked. Still no problem though. Still no problem. Yeah, she'll be fine. Karen Core about to pull within two. She's got to watch the cue ball speed. It's going to be going towards the other side pocket. Oh, not there even close. Go. Karen Core pulling within two. The score now seven to five in favor of Torsten. Getting exciting here. It's incredible to watch Karen's perfect mechanisms. You do not see anything out of place when she is down on that stroke. So solid. I'll put you on the spot here for a second. Who is your favorite player, whether it be male or female? My favorite Well, let's my take a female player? and a male. Yeah. Well, I don't have any any particular 
one one favorite player. Somebody that influenced you more than the other, maybe? Well, let's see here. <laughs> Boy, you know, there's... She knows I don't how to know get out of it. <laughs> Allison's got more moves than a ghost. <laughs> you put her on a spot, she'll get out of it. She's like Houdini. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, you put me on the spot again. <laughs> okay, you don't have to answer I, it. I really, I really like to, uh, I really like to watch some of the more animated players in the game because uh, I think it just adds uh, a big, dim a big fun dimension. You know, like watching uh, yeah. uh, Alex Pagelion. Yes, very fun. Guy Young Kim. Yes. Vivian Villarreal. Yes, the tornado. Yeah, that that's all um, uh, animated. Yes, you're absolutely right. Those three fit that category. Okay, what an answer. I'll tell you what. We can't get a straight answer out of Alice. We <laughs> try 150 <laughs> times. But We're you not know, winning. See, and I, but at the same time, you got to love uh, you know, some of the most consistent and top-performing players. You do not see any of that. You don't see any of that from Torsten. Once in a while, and years Shane. ago, you used to catch it out of Efren. Efren used to stand there and scratch his head when he made a mistake or when he kicked the ball in accidentally. It, you know, he'd, he'd make that face and we have to crowd We saw some of that at the U.S. Open this year. Some, yes. some interesting uh, head scratching moments. <laughs> And he's always getting lucky, Efren. You know, when I interview him. <laughs> How'd you win that match? I got lucky. I got lucky. <laughs> he's been getting lucky for 50 <laughs> years. What a champion he is. Well, Torsten here did not execute this safety Karen, way, the way he wanted to. Yeah, and Karen thinking way ahead, of course. Uh, these players do think one, two, three balls ahead, sometimes four. Karen eyeballing that three, five combination and uh, weighing out her options, what pocket she has. So uh, we think she's definitely going to run out here or at least attempt to pull within one in this match. Uh, I like to see a hill hill. Nothing more that than would that. Be, that would be awesome. And Alex to play the safe. And what a great safe this is. Right into, oh, I thought she was going to get behind well, that look nine. At this. Instead, she she's gets still behind okay. the four. <laughs> Okay, a little bit of a roll. A little bit of a roll. But, but it works. She had a couple balls there to work with, so. But the nine ball is now nudged on top of the uh, six, so this makes that even uh, a little more interesting. And Thorsten Holman answers back with a shot and got a little roll also, I believe. Well, and Karen's got a nice opportunity here because she's got the six ball to hold the one ball in place. She's going to tuck the cue ball right there by the six nine. Well, oh. I don't know what she did there. I thought she was going for that six nine, you know, to tuck the cue ball behind there. Yeah. Well, she could, have, she could have even tried to tuck the, uh, the one ball there into the under the six and send the cue ball to the other side of the table. That's the shot that I liked there. And now we have the six nine, and we, we have, have the five eight. So it's there's a, a lot there's <laughs> a lot of game here left. I will Absolutely. say that much. Not enough time to go make a bag of popcorn in the mic though, so stay right where you are folks. You could get a beer out of the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe not make a bag of popcorn. If you're at that age, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Karen has a shot. She can make this one ball and get position on the two. Let's see how she feels. Taking a look over at... Uh Kiamko and DeShane. Mike has taken the lead again, and the score is 7 6. I 
I don't know what Karen is studying too much for. I mean, all she has to do is come back and forth across the table here, but oh, something's bothering her. I think she's going to play safe here, Al. I think she's going to put the uh, the shot that I like here is um, putting the cue ball right into the eight and the five. You mean nestle it up like nestle that? It really? Oh, no, never mind. That's what she was That's concerned what about. Uh, great shot. That was a great shot. Yeah. She was concerned. Played an aggressive shot. You know, it's just studying that one ball mm -hmm. so long. You knew something was involved. We can't really tell the angles from our point of view, but she knew that cue ball was going to travel that way and hit the two ball. Very nice shot. I don't think she expected that, though. She Ooh, still has a yeah, shot. Yeah, she's still all right here. Well. She's looking at playing that three down in the corner pocket. Trying to see how she would get on the four ball next. And just roll forward. The top outside. And there we have uh, Mike DeShane putting another beat on the wire, going 8-6 to the hill. On the hill. You know, she wanted to be a little straighter on this combination. Unfortunately, she nudged the seven ball, but she has to play the combination without a doubt. She took a good look at the 6-9. I don't know if she has if the caram is on or not. She should go back and forth across table. How's well, the she speed? Got a of the safety here. She hit it a little too hard. Leaving Thorsten Holman an opportunity now. He's gonna take a look at the six ball. Looks like Mike DeShane has scratched on the break against Warren Campco on the hill. Great shot. I'm not sure if the six goes or not. The way he played it, it looks like it might go. He's down again taking a look at it. Now, I would say if the cue ball was a little higher, he might have the carom on the nine, but let's see what he does here. Ball when he played it perfect. Perfect. Thorsten Holman threatening to go on the hill here against Karen Kaur. And Warren Campko on the other table threatening to go up another game to make that 8 7 on that table. He's now down shooting the 8 ball. It looks like he's got perfect position to roll down on the nine. And the nine ball has gone down for Warren. And also on its way down for Thorsten Holman, who reaches the hill. 
eight to five in this match. We're racing to nine. And eight to seven on the other table. This is some exciting stuff, Al. Yeah, you know, as it gets further down towards the end of the tournament, you know, like uh, we were saying earlier, these players are not in this position because uh, they can't make a ball, right? So we're looking for a lot of excitement. And there's plenty more excitement coming your way. The next match up here will be a winner's side match between Johnny, the Scorpion Archer, and Shane, the South Dakota kid, Van Boning. So you're in for a lot of great matches coming up. Okay, looks like the two ball flew into the corner pocket and the four ball looks like it's going into the side or vice versa and he's got a shot on the one. This might be the lights out for Mrs. Cor. Yeah, this was really just the break Torsten was hoping for here. put an end to this match. Well, unfortunately, somebody has to win and somebody has to lose. So the game of pull. And Boston doing everything in his power to, to eliminate Karen Corr. Mind seeing play the eight in the same pocket. No. Got a little funny here, but you know, making it up in the in the uh, right hand corner and holding the cue ball down here is the shot. But he would have loved to be a little bit straighter. Well, there we go, Al. Thorsten Holman, the victor in this match. And a great one it was. Karen gave it a, not her best shot. We've seen her shoot a lot better than this, but you know, she still hung in there. Well, Allison Fisher from NYC Grind. I will say goodbye to you. I'm leaving, I gotta get on the road. Safe and, travels, uh, Al. Thanks. And goodbye to everybody on the stream, it's and been thanks a, for the help. It's been a pleasure joining you here these Likewise. last couple days. Likewise. I hope to do it again soon. Yeah, in September. You made it all that much fun. Next match, you see it on the screen. Johnny Archer versus Shane Van Boning. Coming up, guys. Stand by. Stay Thank you. tuned. Introducing Lucasi Hybrid, a whole new level of performance and technology. A cue with a revolutionary X-Shock stamping system, eliminating vibration.
G5 grip technology for enhanced traction and stability results in maximum Q control. Total sweet spot construction means unmatched power. And the zero flex point ferrule provides dead on accuracy, giving you the confidence you need in every shot. Lucasi Hybrid, the only Q that matters.